Im Ahmad is afraid that her stay in Lebanon could become permanent. She fled the war in Syria in 2013. Her hometown, Ataybe, is now under government control. She says the army hasn't allowed civilians to return yet, and a new law passed by the Syrian government is threatening to confiscate homes of those people who don't prove ownership. I don't even know if we still have a house or if it was destroyed. And when we fled, we left with nothing. So I don't have any documents with me. There are millions of Syrians like Im Ahmad who escaped from the fighting with nothing. Law number 10, as it is known, means they may be stuck in exile. International aid agencies say just 9% of refugees and displaced have their property title deeds with them. This is worrying host nations like Lebanon, where there are over 1 million refugees. It's very worrying because we need, we need things that would encourage the displaced or the refugees to come back to their country, not uh, measures to discourage them. The Syrian government says the new law is needed to begin the reconstruction of areas damaged by war. Human rights groups disagree. They say Damascus passed similar laws in 2012 to confiscate property without due process or compensation. Many Syrian refugees no longer have valid identity documents. Um, they will not be able to uh, prepare the types of case files that they will need to to show that they are property owners within the time frame that has been given under law number 10. The Syrian opposition says the law is part of the government's efforts to bring about demographic changes by repopulating areas with loyalists. Many of the refugees in Lebanon come from areas that were battlegrounds under rebel control before being recaptured by the government. Places like the Damascus countryside, Homs and the Kalamun region. They may be considered safe by some, but political, economic and security reasons prevent others from returning. And now the law is an obstacle to those who want to go back home, even if it means living under Bashar al-Assad's rule. Mohammed Faris al Hau is one of them. His hometown, Daraya, has been all but destroyed, and he has no documents to prove ownership of his land. I don't have any papers. I don't even know my property number. That is because I inherited it from my father. I don't know if my house is still standing. I have nothing by God. It's estimated up to 50% of Syrian land was not officially registered before the war. For many, permanent displacement is becoming a reality. Zana Khudr El Shazira, Bekaa Valley, Lebanon.